Nighttime, a reported burglary ended in a crash overnight, causing a portion of South Perkins to be shut down. Memphis police telling us several people were first spotted coming out of the rear of a tractor trailer parked outside of a store. The accused burglars tried to get away. Some were caught after the vehicle they were in crashed into another driver. Here's WREG's Dorita Patterson with more on how the break in led to a traffic backup. It was a traffic nightmare early Friday morning. It's always busy. It's never a dull moment. The overpass along South Perkins was blocked for hours. This is part of Carlton Pittman's route home. I just asked him did somebody die when he saw me going through. I told him I was just coming through because I was getting off work. He told me to go ahead and go up under the line. Fortunately, everyone survived. However, this became a crime scene. <laughs> Drivers were frustrated and exhausted. So too were police who used blue flashers and their PA systems, warning drivers the area was closed. A road Mr. Pittman says is often an accident magnet. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Remember how I mentioned this was a crime scene? As it turns out, what led to this is more convoluted than the traffic jam it created. Police say around 4.30 Friday morning, five people were seen coming out of a tractor trailer behind the family dollar on South Mendenhall. Detectives say the five split up, hopping into two vehicles. When police tried stopping one of those vehicles, the driver took off, running this red lighted Perkins, crashing into a passing vehicle. Three of the five detectives were tracking down were in this stolen Volkswagen. The trio was taken to the hospital, along with the innocent driver plowed into by those trying to escape. There is so much irony here. You have a beautiful sunrise, and yet there is tragedy just beyond that police tape. Mangled vehicles, debris scattered all throughout, as well as drivers having to find alternate routes, and it's happening during the height of rush hour. Fortunately, everyone is expected to be okay, but what's not okay is how yet again Mr. Pittman is having to dodge danger just to get home. There's always something going on right here. In East Memphis, Jarita Patterson, WREG, News Channel 3. Hopefully things are quieter now. And the other two suspects who got away in a second vehicle, a black SUV, remain on the run. If you know anything that could help police track them down, call Crime Stoppers at 528-CASH.